Now that we've done a little work with the Hummingbird sensors, let's work on graphing the sensor values using Snap Programming. Start by heading to the Motion tab and select a Go to X and Y block. This will position the arrow. With both values at zero, it places the arrow directly at the center of the X and Y axis. When the program runs, we'll need the arrow positioned further to the left of the screen. To do so, type negative 200 into the X value. Next, go into the Control tab and pull in a When a Key is Pressed block. We'll keep it set to the space bar this time around. Connect the XY block just below it. Now select the Pen tab and place a Pen Down block underneath the XY block. Staying in the Pen tab, select a Clear block and place it below Pen Down. This will clear any existing graph whenever the program is rerun. Head to the Control tab and select a Forever loop and place it under your Clear block. Now our program will run continuously. Back in the Motions category, select a Change X by block and place it in the Forever loop. This will move the arrow over by a certain amount of pixels while the sensor takes readings. Let's have it move over by just one pixel. Now select a Set Y2 block into the Forever loop as well. Go into your Sensing blocks and pull a Distance Sensor block into the Set Y block. Hit your spacebar to test the program. As my hand approaches and moves away from the sensor, the program graphs the distance sensor's readings. But, once the arrow moves as far as it can to the right, the program can no longer progress in graphing. We can change that with a few more blocks. Head to your controls and select an if-then statement. Now select the Sensing tab and pull a touching block into the if value. Change it so the program changes at the edge by switching it in the touching block. For the next part of the program, we need to copy a portion that we already have in place. Duplicate from the XY block to the clear block in the program. Then take the duplicate and place it in the then spot. Hit your spacebar again to test the program. The program should take readings just as it did before, only now when it reaches the furthest point on the right, the program will reset. Now that we have the program set to graph sensor readings, let's make the value from the sensor equivalent to a variable. To do this, we will need to create a variable. Go into the Variables tab and select Make a Variable. This text box should appear. Since we're working with the distance sensor, I'll title the variable Distance. Click OK. From your new variables, Drag a set distance block to the top of the forever loop. Make sure the variable is set to distance by clicking here. Now take the distance sensor block already in place and place it in the set distance block. Going back into your variables, take a distance variable and place it in the set y2 block. Click your spacebar again. Now when the program runs, there will be a small reader in the corner measuring the distance value as a variable. Lastly, let's change the scale so that the graph takes up more of the screen. 
go into your Operators tab and select a minus block. Add the distance variable to the first value of the minus block, and in the second, type 50. Now drag in a multiply block from the operators. Add the completed minus block to the second value of the multiply block. Let's determine how much bigger we want to scale the graph. Let's go three times bigger. Now add the completed multiply block to the empty set y2 block. Click your spacebar to test it, and the graph should be taking readings on a larger scale. That completes our example for graphing sensor values. For more info, check out our other tutorials on YouTube.